Although nearly half of households are headed by women, not all have their own houses. A woman could head her household because of migrant labor, polygamy, being single or widowed, but in some of these instances, the woman does not own the house. A female-headed household is not always owned by women. It might be men who own them, but due to the, perhaps the absence of that man, and by absence, um, it might not be necessarily physical absence, but absence in the sense that they don't contribute much in terms of the uh, welfare or the livelihood of that specific household. Poverty is also high amongst women. This reduces a significant number of women to trading in the informal sector, such as selling kapana. There is also the issue of wage inequality, where a woman is paid less than a male counterpart for the same work. Women also face some difficulties in sourcing financing for startup projects, and yet a woman is expected to multitask and be multi-skilled. Because of the reproductive role of a woman, in most cases they have to take care of not only their children, but other family members, and these have economic implications for, for a woman. And already you have a, a low salary, for instance, or maybe you're not even working, you're already struggling. On top of that, you have the responsibility to take care of other uh, um, family members. And again, in case for Namibia, absentee father, what does that mean? The burden falls on a woman, mm -hmm. and this has economic implications, and they still find themselves always in poverty.